What's up everybody, Jesse Mails here, backwaterflyfishing.com. My wife just had my second son two days ago, I believe now, on April 2nd. And thanks to everybody for their thoughts, for their prayers. My wife's super healthy, my son's super healthy. We're all back at home. Um, that was a little crazy doing down here in Costa Rica, but um, we joke all the time and say, you know what, at least we don't have boring birth stories, and that's definitely the case in this one and with our first son down here about four and a half years ago so that's all out of the way my week is going to be super hectic if i look like garbage really the last few nights we just haven't been sleeping good obviously with a newborn but um this week's going to be pretty hectic and then coming out the following week hopefully we can continue a lot more fly time videos today i was sitting around tying flies here and there looking at things and thinking obviously about bonefish like i normally am and I was like, you know what, I'm going to tie this bonefish fly that I really haven't shown anybody. And it's sort of just a mashup of a bunch of different techniques that are classic in, in bonefish flies. So you'll recognize a bunch of the techniques. It's not unusual in that sense. But it's a great fly and I figured I'd show it to you guys today. So let's check it out. guys hopefully you enjoyed that video smash the subscribe button to this channel also be sure to follow me at backwater fly fishing on instagram and facebook head over to backwaterflies.com pick up three packs of all my favorite inshore saltwater flies for redfish snook tarpon and bonefish until next time guys tight lines <laughs>